Got my mom. Oh. I've got Georgia football <laughs> and fried food. Today, Jamie and I are tailgating with some of our favorite recipes, y'all, like jalapeno bottle caps with a blue cheese dip. These are incredible, y'all. You must try them. Next, Jamie shows off his touchdown shuffle for our barbecue chicken in cornbread cups. And then your guests are sure to cheer for these, y'all. Yay! Homemade mini corn dogs. Finally, we're going along with a double fudge bread pudding with a chocolate whip topping. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Look at us. Georgia. Georgia colors. Georgia I guess colors. I'm the dog, aren't I? Yeah. Ruff, ruff. Go dogs. <laughs> we're bringing you awesome food today. Can't wait to get started. The first thing we're going to do is one of my favorite finger foods, barbecue chicken in a cornbread cup. We're gonna start with cornbread mix. It's the easiest thing in the world. I got two boxes of seven ounce cornbread mix right here. Mom, will you- Sweet. Will you measure Sweet. me out? Sweet cornbread. <laughs> How about a cup of milk, Mom? I'm so gonna behave. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> One cup of milk, Mom. I got two okay, eggs son, that okay, I'm going okay, in here. Okay, okay. I'm even gonna get down and check it. One cup of milk, thanks mom. This is easy and so good. I'm just gonna beat this up. I don't want okay. any lumps in this. Now I've got our mini muffin tin is what I'm using uh -huh. today. I love mini muffin tins. Love, we do a lot of things. You want me to spray things. it? Please mom, spray. Okay, pass it please. I love my time in the kitchen with you son. We always have fun. Yes we do. Football season is my favorite time of year. I love college football. Bobby and I go up to Athens and spend a lot of time. We love our Bulldogs and it's just good fun. I'm gonna pour our mix into our pan here. I'm gonna pour this in here, y'all, just cause it's easier. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 400 for about 10 to 12 minutes. They won't oh, take so too long. Oh, so we're not gonna put the chicken in them yet? No, ma'am. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna okay. do. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do, Mom, is called bottle caps. And we're gonna be serving it with a blue cheese dip. You don't know what to look at it, but this is gonna be our bottle cap, just a traditional green store jalapeno. But first, what I'm gonna do is put our dry ingredients together. I've got three cups of flour going in here. Mom, if you would, get started on our green onions, please. Yes, sir. We want some green and some white. Yes, sir, about a half a cup, your recipe says. About half a cup for our dipping sauce. Now, yes. I've got half a cup of our cornmeal mix that's going in here. Got one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Uh-huh. All I need is a cup of this that we're gonna work with. You can throw this in your freezer, y'all. It, it freezes beautifully. Or in your refrigerator. Yep. And I'm gonna use eight tablespoons of any kind of beer that y'all like. Uh-huh. Okay, just make sure you beat all the lumps out of that. You want this to look much like a pancake batter, y'all. And that yeast from that beer is gonna do its magic with all the other ingredients. Mm -hmm. I've taken the top off of these peppers uh -huh. and I'm gonna cut them, you know, this way, like bottle uh -huh. caps. Uh -huh. But depending on how hot you like your food, you uh -huh. might, you can go ahead and get rid of a lot of the seeds Mom. right there from the top. So Mom, if you want to put together the rest of that dip. Okay. The dip that we're doing today, and Mommy, you tell them, it's so simple. I'm gonna use about a half a cup of sour cream and I'm just gonna eyeball this. This is an eight ounce carton, so I would use about half that carton. Then I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise, and I'm gonna eyeball that. And just mix those together. And remember, while Jamie was working down there, I was working down here on the green onions. So I'm just gonna put that in there. I'm gonna use um, a teaspoon of salt, and about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And now the last ingredient to go in is my half a cup of crumbled blue cheese. Ooh, Jamie, look, son. Did it turn out? Yes. That this is gonna awesome. be a wonderful dip. Now I think the, whoa, get back in there, yo blue <laughs> cheese devil, you. <laughs> and just that easy, I've got a wonderful blue cheese dressing dip made. Now, Mom, I've got mm. all this down in our beer batter, and I'm gonna just use my hands, the best tools that yeah. the Lord gave me. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure I cover everything uh -huh. really well. I've got our fryer all ready. 
And Jamie's got our fryer set at 375, y'all. Just watch the popping. Would you like for me to help you drop? Yay, these are gonna be delicious. Mm -hmm. And I would say that by the time they're fried, Jamie, that a lot of that heat's gonna fry out of them, wouldn't you think? Probably so. And whatever heat's left, if you don't want it, you can just cover it with blue cheese. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right, now I'm gonna make sure I wash my hands real good, y'all, because those peppers were hot. You know the peppers that'll light you up? I've got a pepper bush in my yard. I know you have the same one. The, the, little, the, little, the little purple ones. Yes. Woo -hoo. I thought, look at me. I'm growing peppers in the yard. They're gonna be so good, like a banana pepper. Woo! Listen, we were going down the walkway the other night. I know how Michael loves hot stuff, and I said, uh, Michael, why don't you sample the peppers and see if they're hot? So he reaches down, pulls out a pepper, pops it off the stem, throws the stem away, mm. and goes to chewing. And he's not saying anything, and I look over at him. The man is choking to death. <laughs> yeah, they're so hot. And of course, here I, I'm. Uh, you wet your next, pants laughing. Oh, I'm in the gravel. <laughs> I'm in the gravel, dying laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, it's a <laughs> made my day. <laughs> These look fabulous, yeah. son. Let's drain them. Okay. <laughs> Look at that, son. <laughs> Doesn't that look good, John? Mm. Do you like them? Mm -hmm. Look. Delicious, aren't they? These aren't hot at all. This is a great treat to keep around the house. Mmm. And simple. Fabulous, too. Jamie, your dip. Isn't that delicious? These are incredible, y'all. You must try them. I'm glad that I had something that you hadn't had that you liked. Oh, my goodness. When I... we come back, I've got another dish that Mom hadn't had yet. We're going to do barbecue chicken in our cornbread muffins. Mm. Now oh, stick around. Son. Coming up, just wait till you see how we're dressing up this tailgating party. Hey, Mama, we just happened to make some <laughs> fancy looking food. Then, go corn dogs. This fun finger food gets a real high score. It's the best corn dog I've ever tasted. And later, my most divine dessert. It's chocolate heaven in a bowl, y'all. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Mom's checking on her muffins, and I'm chopping up some chicken Oh, my here. gosh, they look beautiful, son. Look. Awesome. Now, I think there's going to be a trick to this. I think the key is going to be mashing them down when they're warm. Yeah, you don't want to let these get cold, yeah, get them while they're hot. Get them while they're hot, and they'll move. Perfect, son. Now, here's a little tip for you. When your muffins are cooking, you can debone a rotisserie chicken that you buy at the grocery store. These are mini muffins, so I'm going to take a couple extra minutes and give this a really good chop, because our mini muffins are so small that I want it to really fit down inside of there. Yeah. Jamie, this is so cute. And look what I'm using. I'm using a cheese knife. And this just fits perfectly down in there, y'all. Now, if you don't have a tool like this, don't worry. Just use your thumb. Okay, I'm gonna put our chicken in this bowl. Mom, if you want to, open that barbecue sauce. Okay, and we're just using a store-bought barbecue sauce. About you know, a third of a cup. And so. you want it wet enough so that it will stay cuddled up in your corn muffin. Mm-hmm. And while you're doing that, Sonny Boy, I am gonna be dicing up some sweet pickles, and we're just gonna garnish the tops of our muffins. I'm gonna go ahead and fill these up. I'm gonna take a spoon, and I'm just gonna nestle this right down in the cornbread. And I'm just gonna take my minced sweet pickles, and I'm just gonna put a little dollop right on top. This is the perfect plate, son, pretty. for this little appetizer. Awesome! Looks really fancy. Awesome, awesome! These are beautiful. 
They are beautiful. Hey, Mama, we just happened to make some <laughs> fancy looking food. <laughs> I know it, and it's so simple. To the Georgia Bulldogs. Go dogs. Or your favorite team. Dogs. Mmm. One bite. Mmm. 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 So good. Mm -hmm. This is mm. fantastic. So what's next? I've got another great dish today, Mom. I love corn dogs. And this is super simple. The batter that we're gonna make is really easy and super versatile. You can do a lot of different things with it. It's just a half a cup of self-rising flour. Now down here, I got a package of hot dogs. And Jamie has instructed me to cut them in thirds. Cut them into thirds. We're doing small bites today. Yes, because so it's do those all in about thirds. appetizers. And I'm gonna have one and a half cups of cornmeal. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed that when you eat a corn dog, it's kind of sweet. So we're gonna put three tablespoons of sugar into our batter. Now this batter is gonna look a lot like the first batter we did earlier this morning, kind of like a pancake. It's gotta be a little bit thicker and not so runny. Now I'm down here, I've got our hot dogs cut in thirds, so now I'm gonna to toss them in some cornstarch. That cornstarch is gonna help the batter stick better to the hot dogs. Yes. My liquid in this is gonna be one and a quarter cup of buttermilk. give this a turn and make sure my consistency is good, but this is gonna be perfect. And then I've got some little skewers, wooden skewers that we have soaked in water so that they won't burn. And now I'm just gonna stick a stick into each of our hot dogs. I'm gonna take these and knock a little bit of that cornstarch off okay. and I'm just gonna dredge it down through the batter straight into the fryer. And Jamie's got the fryer at 350 degrees. You know the uh, corn dog started at the Texas State Fair. That's where this came up. I didn't know that. They are beautiful, beautiful. Son, I'm just gonna move these around and give you room to drop in some more. Those are perfect, they're ready. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna toss those out on the platter. Look at that, y'all. Son, those are like picture perfect. Little mini corn dogs. Little in the mustard, little in the ketchup, and little in the mouth. Go corn dogs! Ah! Mmm! My mind's hot. Jamie, this is the best corn dog I've ever tasted. Yay! The best really corn dog I have ever tasted. Mmm. Mm. Look, y'all, delicious. You know, I don't care what it is. Anything you cook at the house with people you love is better than something that you go out and buy, yeah. even from the Texas State Fair. I think he almost said he loved me. Oh, Mama, don't start. You know I love you. <laughs> Just like I love corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to do something else when we come back. I love double fudge bread pudding. Y'all come back. Oh, my gosh, I do, too. Mm -hmm. Coming up, we got a tempting tailgating treat. Oh, look, it's look. steaming hot. Oh, hurry, look. Mama, hurry. Okay. <laughs> Later, we whip up a scrumptious dessert topping in a snap. Is that not sinful looking, y'all? I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Mama, what's better than a fudge bread pudding? A double fudge bread pudding? Double fudge <laughs> bread pudding. And that's what we're gonna do today. It's the fastest one in the South. We've got one and a half loaves of French bread down here that Mama's uh -huh. cubed up. Mama, if you wanna go ahead and get to work on the rest of this. Sure thing, son. I'll just cube this up for you. Thanks, Mom. You're doing great. <laughs> okay, down here in this saucepan, what I'm gonna do, I've got three cups of whole milk. Glug, 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 glug. Three. I'm gonna put my milk in here. I love bread. I love bread too. Mm. I love bread, I love pudding, I love chocolate. I love double. I'm gonna put a little <laughs> bourbon in this too later. I've got a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream and I've got one giant tablespoon of vanilla. It's a lot of pudding, son. I know it. We got a big family, Mom. 
And I've got one pound of semi-sweet chocolate that I'm gonna break up here. This is just mm. the kind that you buy in the baking section. I'm gonna put these in a separate bowl, Mom. As soon as my milk gets hot, I'm gonna use okay. our milk and heavy cream and vanilla mixture to melt the chocolate Oh down. gosh, sounds delicious, son. Now I'm gonna get the other ingredients ready for this bread pudding. And we're gonna need one cup of white sugar, three quarters of a cup of packed light brown sugar. And now I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder and one teaspoon and a half of ground cinnamon. I'm gonna add six eggs, one at a time. Okay. I need this whisk so I can whip it. Whip it good! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's about ready, isn't it, son? You think it's hot enough to melt that chocolate? Let me stick my ah! <laughs> <laughs> is it hot enough? I was kidding. But I do think it is hot enough. What do you think? I think so. Gosh. I like that. Uh, I mean, chocolate, you like that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do, I do. We could just drink it right now. Would you like for me to get a mug? Two, please. <laughs> Okay, Mom, I'm gonna add this to what you've got. Okay, and I'm just gonna whisk, mm. whisk, whisk. Mm. Mm -mm. And the last thing we've got, we're gonna put a quarter cup of bourbon in here. Now, y'all don't have to put bourbon in yours if you don't want to, but bourbon really helps make that chocolate flavor just big, big, big. Now the fun part. Are we gonna pour this over on that bread? The whole thing. You know what, son? We're gonna have to do this very carefully. So what I'm gonna do. You gonna dip? I think I'm gonna start dipping and let that bread soak up this wonderful chocolate mixture. Is that not sinful looking, y'all? We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for an hour. So yeah. it's gonna soak it all up. Okay, I think we're safe to I help you pour. pour it in. I'm just gonna pat that bread. And you can see, son, I'm taking the spatula. Pushing it down, pushing that yummy bread into that double chocolate bourbon mixture. And now I'm gonna take our spatula. Be sure and to I'm be gonna... very quiet when you do this. Yes, Bad. yes. All righty, All right. we did it. All right, so we're gonna cover it with a, a plastic it. wrap. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for one hour. Okay. It smells so good. You can't even hardly smell it that bourbon in there. It's, uh -uh. it's really not enough to no, it's not offend anybody. Not much. Okay, I'm gonna stick this down in our okay. refrigerator. Okay. You probably need to go to the bottom rack, son. There you go, yeah. All right. This one's been sitting in there for an hour, mm -hmm. and it is totally saturated with chocolate goodness. Yes. Now this is going into the oven. Okay. It's gonna cook at 325 okay. for about one hour. Sounds delicious, y'all. It's gonna be delicious, so. It's the end of the third quarter in our fantastic show today. <laughs> when you come back, we're gonna do a special topping for our double Oops. chocolate fudge bread pudding, and we're gonna to get to eat some. Now stick around. Coming up, we got a topping for our bread pudding that takes it into the end zone. You know what this says, Mom? That's a what? touchdown. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show, and if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video, and we'll be right back after the break. Mommy, you know what's better than a double fudge chocolate bread pudding? A triple fudge chocolate triple bread fudge. pudding. Triple yay. We're doing my favorite thing for dessert, homemade whip topping. And I'm going to take one cup of heavy cream. You can make all flavors of whipped cream, y'all. You can put different extracts in it. And I like the formula uh, that Jamie is using, and that's one cup of heavy cream and a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar. I'm going to get this a little stiff before yeah. I add the chocolate. Yes. Well, I was very comfortable where I was prompt, but. <laughs> well, come on back. It's, I got it under control. I see you do. There's this 
good. I'm gonna add my chocolate. <laughs> That's my mama, y'all. Half a cup. I would slowly add that. Yum. That looks so good. Normally, I use a cocoa powder. But you know what? I love the looks of that whipped cream using that chocolate syrup, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dip Jamie. it up some, Okay. Mm. Look. Oh, look, it's look. steaming hot. Oh, hurry, look. Mama, hurry. Okay. <laughs> Great time of day. Mm. Mm. Oh. That can be yours, son. That's bigger. Thanks, Mom. Mm-hmm. 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 Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm-mm. Whoa. Is it good? Whoa. Mmm. This is so good, y'all. It's chocolate heaven in a bowl, y'all. It's bread, and then chocolate, and then chocolate, and then chocolate. You know what this is, Mom? Fantastic. That's a what? touchdown. Yes. Thanks for having me on the show, Mom. We always have a good time in the kitchen. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.